So what do you need to get started? I think a lot of um, what I've shared so far, hopefully, is fairly basic, high-level information. Estate planning can seem intimidating, and that's one of the big goals of Trust Malls. We want to make it approachable, not intimidated. We give you as much information up front to get you excited about uh, this sense of accomplishment and getting this done. And for most people, it takes 30 minutes to fill out all the information. What would traditionally be a clipboard at an attorney's office or a PDF that you would download online, we've created this beautiful, seamless experience, very similar to a TurboTax. If you've ever gone and filed your taxes online or take the best online experience for banking that you may have done. And we've really tried to mimic that with Trustimo. So basic information is one of the sections. It's information on you, your spouse, kids, legal names, birthdays. You have the guardians, which is if you have minor children or pets, who do you want to look after them if something happens to you? Next up is the executor and or trustee. So nominating this person is responsible for carrying out the wishes of your estate plan. This includes distributing the assets of the estate or managing the trust as well. And lastly, on assets and distributions, a common question that comes up is, well, what percentage uh, distributions do you want to split it evenly amongst your children? Do you want to give one kid the house, another kid the car? You can choose how these are to be divided. And a common thing that comes up too is age-based distribution. So you're not, um, a lot of parents have this fear. Well, I don't want all my kids to get everything at 18 years old, which is completely understandable thinking back on what we were doing at 18. But the idea that you can choose an age-based provision for them before they receive an asset. Most people wait till they're a little bit older, uh, but it's pretty common. So what you don't need is, and this is this does come up, is we're not collecting social security numbers. We're not connecting. We're not collecting your bank account information. We don't need your online passwords, real estate titles, business ownership paperwork. We don't need any of that. So what we like is you can go very high level in what you provide to just catalog this stuff. It literally could be as simple as. I have my banking and financial and investment accounts with Wells Fargo. And as long as it's called out, it's going to make it easier for executor or trustee. But what happens is that sometimes people want to get more specific and we've created a nice, simple product flow where you can fill out more about what types of accounts they are. And if you've ever used like a credit karma or a mint.com, you know how you can log in with your bank information. So we have that it's, it's called a plaid integration. So we're not actually collecting or storing your usernames or passwords, those are completely anonymous to us, but at least you can get that real-time connectivity and pull in the account value, if that's helpful. So the thing that we love is there's a new breed of estate planner. We have kind of two core demographics that we serve today. The primary, which you could probably guess, is uh, folks that are 30 to 55. They have minor kids at home, typically a homeowner, and really just thinking about their loved ones, especially if they're uh, going on an airplane. That's for whatever reason, even though it's the safest mode of transportation, that's such a common experience. People are like, ah, first time on a flight without my kids. I wish I had this done. So that's one lens to think of it through. But the other is the real one. You know, it's 55 plus. It's our second biggest segment. And just to give context from a partnership perspective, AARP, we're the exclusive estate planning provider for AARP. In their 38 million members and they so much it's gone so well as a partnership they actually invested in the company and the goal there is that for 55 plus 50 percent still does not have an estate plan and a lot of them are coming to us because we're affordable we're easy to use and they feel accomplished or they have peace of mind after they get this done so i like the fact that we've built the product experience for all but really leaning into parents or caregivers that's that's also the big one uh, in terms of who we serve now the products themselves, so we've tried to unbundle the estate plan. So get a little context about how we structure our products today, where most estate planning attorneys will anchor in their services around a trust. And a lot of people don't need to trust. A lot of people can't afford the trust. And a lot of people don't want to go through this kind of multi-week experience with an attorney. It's not bad. It's just not that convenient. We have lives. A lot of us, you have my wife and I, we both work full time. Life, life just gets in the way. And that's, that's why most people don't do this. So we tried to price our products affordably and unbundle them. So we call it kind of the a la carte model, where if you want the trust, you can come in and set up the trust. But most people with Trustimal start with our will package. And then we even offered a product for first time parents that may not want to think through their assets or may not have any assets to call out. They just say, hey, look, if something happens to me, I want to choose who looks after my children not the courts deciding. So that's why we have our guardian product, which is our entry level product. And then we have, just to give context, all of our documents, we're live in all 50 states and DC. They're state specific. 
when you do complete the experience with Trust Mill, you have to sign, notarize, and witness these documents. That's what makes them legally valid. Now, some states, you have to do this offline, which isn't a problem, but you go to like a, a bank or a UPS store or postal store, or some cases you have a mobile notary that can come to your home. But it's really cool is that in several states in the US, we have a digital execution. So you'd almost expect in 20, 2021, soon to be 22, that you can do this online. So in some states, you actually can do a video call with the notary. You, do, uh, you show a valid form of ID. You do a digital signature. They do the digital notary stamp. And then those documents are stored digitally. And we really like that because it's a little more secure. And more importantly, there's a digital copy that's stored of the signature and notary page. And you can also share and notify loved ones if the estate plan is with trust mall. So you just say, hey, look, you're not going to see the whole estate plan, but if I want to let my wife or if I want to let my parents know that the estate plan is a trust mall, I have the ability to notify them through the product. Um, and we have this beautiful package document. So for those that do choose the offline experience, we ship out of Chicago. They get to people's doorsteps within the week. Um, and they're, they're nice packaging. I have mine on the shelf behind me here, but hopefully that's a good um, intro to a state plan. And I'll pause there, Ruby and Natalie.